The Mach 5 III, that's the bomb sampler. That's the bomb diggity sampler of life. It's the one that you just, the universal, get it in. Thank you, good night. Welcome to the NAMM Show 2014. I'm Matt from Motu. Let's get into Mach 5 version 3. That's our universal sampler. That's the focus of this presentation. Uh, today we're going to get into what's new in version 3.2. Uh, we're going to get into some of the advanced sound design features. And we're also going to preview uh, our growing number of third-party libraries. Mach 5.3 is, is a great platform for developers. And we've got a great number of growing uh, number of libraries for Mach 5 version 3. So Mach 5 has been really gaining a lot of traction in the industry with sound and music professionals. Um, and we've won some, some really wonderful awards over the past year. I want to point out some of the new awards that we've received. In 2013, we won the MIPA Award, which is the Music Mesa International Press Award for Best Software Instrument. This is a very prestigious award, uh, an international award, so we're very uh, excited about that award. Uh, Keyboard Magazine gave us a Key Buy Award. Computer Music also gave us the Best Software Sampler of the Year. And finally, Music Tech gave us an Editor's Choice Award. So some nice industry recognition for Mach 5 version 3. Let's talk about what's new in version 3.2. We've added AAX support for Pro Tools 11, so on both on Mac and Windows. We've also increased the memory efficiency in version 3.2. We've added a new filter effect. Uh, we've added start and stop position knobs in the EarCom oscillator. And we also added a feature when you're in the browser where you can right click and verify the integrity of the sound banks. So those are some new features in 3.2. Uh, that's a free update from Motu on Motu's website. I want to back up for a moment and talk a little bit about Mach 5.3. It's really four products in one. It's a sampler, sample player, it's a synthesizer, a sound design tool, and it's also a live performance tool. So I'm going to switch over to Digital Performer 8. I've got Mach 5.3 running. And I want to show you how easy it is to drag and drop samples into Mach 5 and mix in synth layers. So I've got a folder here on the desktop, and I've got some bass drum samples. Let's just grab these, and let's just drag them right in. And it's very easy to just map them right across the keyboard. And what's nice in Mach 5, if I turn on MIDI Edit, when I play the note, it'll actually show me which note's playing. And of course, down below, we can get into adding filters, changing the polyphony, the volume, the pan. We can change the envelopes. Uh, we can do things like batch edit. If I highlight all the key groups, uh, you'll notice on the, on the right there, I can batch, normalize, reverse. I can apply effects to the samples very easily. Let's talk about adding a synth layer. So here's a kick drum sample. At the top, if I hit the plus sign, I've got different oscillators that I can add. So for instance, I could add analog waveforms. Let's add a drum oscillator. Now I've, I've got a noise and of course a sine wave. Let's actually reduce the, the amount of noise and we'll tune down the oscillator. So let's try this. So my first layer is the raw sample and now I've got a drum layer. And I could just continue to keep adding layer upon layer. Each layer could have different polyphony settings, effect settings. Uh, it's very, very easy to create your own samples as a workstation in Mach 5.3. So that's a quick tour of that. Let's do something a little bit more creative with sampling in Mach 5.3. Let's go over to the desktop, and I'm going to bring in um, a very well-known piece of music. This is the Star Wars main title. So let's play this back, and I don't want to rip your ears off, but let's make sure the volume is playing back here. I'm going to play back the red key, which is, indicates it's the root. So let's hear a little couple bars of this. <laughs> Cool, is that too loud? I? Okay, good. So now, of course, it's set to sample by default, but let's switch it over to the EarCom Stretch. These are some fantastic algorithms included in Mach 5 version 3. So what Stretch is going to let me do, and I'm going to choose a preset in the top right. Let's choose high quality, and I'm going to click on the stereo knob. We're going to play back Star Wars. We're going to transpose it and not alter the tempo. Let's transpose it and listen, even though we're in sort of a lot of ambient noise, listen to the quality of how well this can take place. I'll take it down a minor third. Take it a major third. I mean, we're, we're literally playing back something very dynamic with lots of overtones, and we're very cleanly playing that back. So from a production standpoint, imagine you've finished a cue, you've printed it, and a client needs to transpose down a full step. 
You could drop it in Mach 5, and you could render the output, print it, or bounce it into your DAW, and you've got this amazing quality that quickly. I mean, this is about as good as it gets for sound quality. We could do something interesting like playback. How about a tritone? <laughs> something. Sorry, John Williams here. OK, so anyway, let's do something a little bit more creative. Oh, how about we right click this time on the speed knob, and let's vary the tempo of Star Wars on the fly. So if I right click on the parameter, I've got some knobs on this controller. Let's grab one of these if I can find it here. So now you can see I've got, I've got control of the speed. So let's, let's just play it back and manipulate the tempo. That's pretty interesting that you could take one of your cues that you've recorded to a fixed tempo, you could drop it in Mach 5, and you could vary the tempo and record that MIDI information into your DAW. So if you wanted to create legato or sections where you had accelerandos and things happening in recorded music, you can do that with digital audio. And not just stereo files, mono files, 5.1 files. This is, again, this is a whole other level of production as compared to other our competing sampling products on the market. So let's switch over now to Earcom Granular. Granular Synthesis will let us manipulate this file based on the grains of samples. So let's switch over. I've got a preset here called Dense Slow. And let's right click on the position knob. And we'll MIDI learn. And let me find a knob here to connect with. So now what we're going to do is I'm going to stop the speed of the playback wiper. And we're going to find some little magical moments in this Star Wars queue to, to stop and to hold the transport. Let me see if I can remember what I actually grabbed here. OK, here it is. Here's the position knob. So let's see if we can find some, some magical moments here. Well, that's a great chord. Let's just stop there for a moment. So, so I literally can just indefinitely loop that one point in time. And I can now use this as a patch. So let me transpose this. It's pretty interesting. So let's maybe find another couple spots here. That's very interesting, a very unique thing that you can do in Mach 5.3 to be able to take an audio file, drop it in, find little moments in time where you can stop the transport now, what's amazing about Mach 5.3 is that I've got just one sample in here, but I could actually reduce the key group down to one key. Every single key on the keyboard could be a different position for a different audio file, whether mono or surround or stereo. I could apply convolution effects. Again, like there's nothing on the market that has this kind of fidelity and sound quality. This is, this is amazing stuff that you can do in Mach 5 version 3.